So here is another basic example with I2C communication. In this case, I'm using a semiconductor like the previous video, uh, PIC16F76, uh, machine simulation, this is in C, and I2C debugger here. Uh, note that uh, these pins, SC, uh, SCL and SDA, need to be pulled up by a digital register in simulation, but in practically, you can use uh, normal registers. So what is the changes? Just uh, select the digital, then it's okay. And in the code section, this is very simple code. Just uh, uh, declaring the SDA and SCL pin as this microcontroller doesn't have any dedicated I2C module, but uh, the compiler supports a software I2C module. So I'm using software I2C uh, code module here, and then initializing the pin. And to communicate with I2C, it's simple. Now they start the I2C, then send the value or data, then stop the communication. That's it. So compile it, then uh, let's simulate it. So in a code, I am sending 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and 0, 4. You can see that the values are printed here. That means the debugger can detect the I2C communication. But uh, note that, that this is a simple debugging and communication method, but uh, when you practically use, normally we use interface either temperature sensors like uh, DS series or uh, the real-time clock through I2C. Of course, uh, similar to SPI, I2C also can be communicated with multiple uh, I2C sensors or CLF devices. In that case, the address bit is be that key point to select the particular sensor. So there is uh, no more explanation with this because uh, we already have several examples course with the ITC, uh, ITC communication with sensors and also IT, ITC or real time clock. So for details information, you can uh, visit my channel and also my blog to read more about the I2C communication and examples. So I think uh, this will help you for understanding the I2C communication and practical examples are already available in my blog and also in channel. Thank you. See you again.